Welcome everybody to the third and final stop on the Unboxing World Tour. Here we are in, we have a package from Singapore. And you know what, when this came in, this stuff all came in a couple days ago. This is the first chance I had to do a video. But I had no clue what this was. And it took me a couple of days to finally figure it out. This is an eBay buy. So, you know what, I got so many knives on the table, but I think it would only be fitting to use the air sog that Taki no Mori Monster was so kind to send me. Still loving this knife. Alright. <clears throat> Again, personal info is not marked out, so I gotta be careful how I do this. Hello. Y'all didn't see that. If you did, pretend you didn't. Alright, set that aside so I don't have any more foul ups. Yeah, this is the eBay by the that I said. Now most of you guys are already familiar with some of these because you've seen so many videos on them. And I finally said, what the hell? I'm gonna get some myself. I'll leave that there. So far I got my little, my little guys here hanging out, keeping me protected here at the bottom of the screen. So here we have some Sanrin moves. There's one. There's two. Don't know why it's not in that kind of packaging, but whatever. There's three and there's four. So I wrote down some, a few little specifics. Gonna need a ruler here in a minute. All right, let's check it out. The classic 710 that everybody is going on and on about. These were, like I said, bought off eBay. So the only place I could find that sold these, like we were told by, um, I think it was Exacto, uh, he was having a problem finding anywhere inside the U.S. that sold these, so these came straight from China. And dude, that's got a great feel to it. It's a nice size little EDC blade. Got some uh, little inserts right there. It's cool. So let's see, this is the uh, 710, we're all pretty familiar with it. 8CR13 MOV steel. Uh, let me get you some measurements here. Okay, the blade we're looking at, one, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> it looks to be about two and maybe uh, seven eighths. Yeah, let's call it two and seven eighths, what the hell. Overall, six and a half, and closed, it would be, uh, call it three and three quarters, for argument's sake. It is a frame lock design, which is cool. This is actually my first frame lock design knife, and it's funny that it was such a cheap knife that, for me to finally get a frame lock. Opens lightning fast, as you can tell. Has a pocket clip. What is that? Tip down, right hand only carry. Works for me. You know what, let's leave that open. <clears throat> Next up, these are all center and move uh, knives, by the way. This is really nice. I'm gonna throw that damn box away. Okay, this is really nice. Let's try that again, there we go. This is the MC962. Michael Charles Charles 962. Uh, it has these uh, black and dark blue micarta, I believe it is, wood-like handles. Very nice. Uh, it's got a spidey-like hole up here for opening. It's much smaller than a spider co spidey hole, but it gets a job done. But it has the access lock on it. 
kind of tight. I'm going to have to loosen this up a bit. But, I'm, hey, shit, it's fine, fine by me. Again, pocket clip, tip up, right hand only carry. Very nice knife. I'm really glad I got that. That's actually the most expensive one I bought from the San Remu. A uh, three and a quarter inch blade. Overall, not a uh, seven and almost three quarters. Closed four and a half. Next up is the GR605. Itty bitty little knife. Has the red G10 handles. Uh, has a thumb stud for opening. It can be switched over to the other side. It is a liner lock. Fine by me. Especially on such a little knife. It's, Frame lock is fine. Has a pocket clip for tip up. I'm sorry, yeah, tip up right hand carry. Does have the lanyard hole in it. You know what? I could actually use that for a keychain knife, and that might be what that turns into. Which would be good. Put your keys on there. Uh, set that down in the pocket. Yeah, that might work. They said that was a drop point blade. Uh, I'm not real sure. Uh, I'm not real good with all the blade names or anything. But uh, ACR 13 MOV, as are the first two here. All ACR 13 MOV steels. Let's see, the blade is two and a quarter, but the cutting edge is one and three quarters. Overall, you're looking at Five and three sixteenths. Closed. Call it three inches and call it good. <clears throat> Last and not least. <clears throat> I believe I saw this one on, uh, I think it was iSpy 0099's channel. I think it was. I hope that's right. This is the, cover up my paper here, this is the GV604 green G10 handle, liner lock, chisel ground tanto. Really I like the blade shape of it so that was my main reason I wanted to buy this one. Again pocket clip for tip up right hand carry. I can't flip out these little bitty knives. But, another cool little knife by Center and Moo, uh, ACR 13 MOV, like I said. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> We're looking at two and a quarter inch blade. Oh, wait. Overall, five and three sixteenths, five and a quarter, something like that. And again, call it three inches, call it a day. Basically, these are the same knife, just with different blade shapes. This red and the green here. Actually, that's good. That comes in handy. Here we are at Christmas time. It's kind of a little festive. So those are my uh, worldwide unboxing, guys. Poland, Japan, and Singapore. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope everybody had a great holiday. Hope you continue to do so. This is George, I am Infidel Strong, and I'm out.